Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for General Hospital alleged Commissioner of Police Anna Devine is searching for the individual responsible for the death of FBI Special Agent John Jagger Cates. Even though Sonny Corinthos was the most likely suspect on the Quartermain home grounds, when Jagger was shot, Carly Spencer will be lying to Sonny about where he was and what he was doing with her, so Sonny will have an interesting alibi. Other people had ulterior motives that evening at the Q home. Who exactly is Anna going to have to arrest, no matter how much it hurts to do so? While taking a stroll in the evening, Elizabeth Baldwin and Rick Lansing, Rick Hearst, chanced to see Alexis Davis on the footbridge, flinging what looked to be a gun into the river below. She then caused herself more harm than good by pretending to toss her phone into the sea and lying about what she was doing there. Rick might tell Anna what he knows about Alexis's walk to the water that evening after learning that Kate's was dead. Since Alexis recently regained her bar license, it would be difficult for Anna to place her under arrest. Naturally, Alexis is not going to report to the police that she simply found the gun in Christina Corinthos Davis's purse and was throwing it away. She was totally unaware of Kate's passing and had no notion that the gun belonged to Sonny. Saying so, though, won't assist her if she turns out to be a suspect in his murder. The news of his passing would only lead Alexis to believe Christina was responsible for his death. Even though he could be prepared to stand in for her, Christina will most likely admit to stealing Sonny's gun. If Christina didn't have an alibi to prove she was at the cemetery by herself, she might be charged with Kate's murder. Report on General Hospital spoilers by now, Sonny Corinthos and Carly Spencer have had more marriages and divorces than they can remember. Carly gets shivers at the idea of getting into another fake marriage in order to keep Sonny safe. She enjoys her independence and single status. She's ready for love again, but she wasn't planning on going barking up her ex-husband's tree in search of it. She wasn't looking for a wedding to be the culmination of her and Sonny's challenging year as co-parents in order to keep her kid's father out of jail. However, here they are. Will Sonny and Carly be able to carry off this deception that they got caught up in the moment, or is Diane Miller correct that no one will believe it? They are forced to pretend they hooked up on Tracy Quartermain's bed and are rekindling their romance. To be completely honest, not even the fans can believe that Sonny and Carly are dating at this point. They have been at odds for the entire year. Since their last divorce, which resulted from Carly discovering Sonny in bed with her arch-enemy, Nina Reeves, they haven't been on good terms. Carly and Sonny haven't always stayed friendly, especially when he was mistakenly off his medication, but Carly and Nina have managed to patch things up enough to be friendly ever since. They still have a rough foundation this year, but Carly can probably overlook that, not that it usually makes for a quickie at the Q Mansion, where neither of them reside. Never would they. Correct. It is not necessary for Sonny to publicly admit that he shot FBI Special Agent John, Jack or Cates, without provocation. Carly is all too familiar with him. She could tell he had been outside as soon as he dragged her, drenched, into Tracy's room. She knew he needed an alibi and that it wouldn't be a good one, the instant he stated she had to act as though she had been with him. Still, she complied. She feels a little guilty now for not questioning more at first. Perhaps she could have devised a more effective scheme. Some people claim that Sonny purposefully botched this cover-up without Carly's permission. Entering the Quartermain living room, he was still tucking in his shirt. Was that intentional? Carly was so engrossed in the lie she was unaware she was a part of that she hardly noticed. Some fans speculate that Sonny may be regretting cheating on Nina and is yearning for the security Carly usually provides in his life. Will he use Carly as leverage to force her to marry him and move back in to play house, despite Diane's reasonable caution that they need a pattern of behavior? According to General Hospital spoilers, a new character will soon appear on the daytime soap. For a two-episode stint, 
Saturday Night List star Sarah Sherman will appear in the soap opera as Lois Serrillo's dialect instructor, Robin Finch. Further information is provided below. Finch will make her According television to debut on Thursday, yes. September 5, and she'll also make an appearance on Friday, September 6. A snippet from one of Sherman's scenes was shown beforehand. It seems that Robin's moniker will be tutor to the stars and dialect theorist. Further teasers indicate that Finch may not have a fan in Olivia Quartermain because the two ladies will argue about how she pronounces croissant when she first enters the Quartermain mansion. Furthermore, Sarah's persona will have exchanges with Ned and Tracy Quartermain. However, he actually teasers also suggest that she will win over Brock Lynn Quartermain Chase by correctly identifying the Brooklyn neighborhood where Oliva and BLQ both reside. Will Lois and Robin get along, or will they run into problems? Lois genuinely thinks that if she gets rid of her Brooklyn accent, deception would sell better. In her capacity as the company's official spokesman, Lois strives to give the business her all. She's determined to get rid of it because a caller frightened her about her injury on her first appearance on Home and Heart. If these two women get along, only time will tell, but let's hope they find common ground. Sarah Silverman of Saturday Night Live seems to be a big admirer of Kiesh as well. During filming, the comic was ecstatic to work with Tracy Quartermain and meet Sonny Corinthos, and she had the time of her life. Earlier this year, Nicholas Alexander Chavez of General Hospital stepped down from his role as Spencer Cassidine. At the time, fans were aware that Chavez would shortly appear in Monsters, the Lyle and Eric Menendez story on Netflix, a show directed by Ryan Murphy. The Monsters extended trailer has been released by Netflix ahead of its September 19 premiere. Chavez, who played Spencer on General Hospital, went on to play Lyle Menendez, a real-life killer. In 1996, Lyle and his brother Eric Menendez were found guilty of the murders of their parents, Jose and Kitty Menendez. Murphy's upcoming series will go deeper into the 1989 deaths. Although there are some short clips from the teaser released last month on Netflix, this one lasts for three minutes. More of what viewers may expect from the season debut is revealed in the latest trailer. Lyle and Eric enter their parents' bedroom in their Beverly Hills house at the beginning of the trailer. A voice can be heard telling the boys, I will need you to walk me through what happened, as well as gunshots. The Menendez brothers are seated on a couch and the voice is that of a therapist talking to them. The boys' therapist explains that the goal is to re-establish a connection and get closer. Saying that the two of them killed their parents, Lyle interrupts. This, in Lyle's opinion, brings them closer. They were with each other when they killed their parents, after all. Fans should anticipate seeing some of the Menendez brothers' trial in the trailer. It's not as though before their incarceration, Lyle and Eric were maximizing their parents' wealth. A few video also concern the boy's father, who is said to be abusive. The cold-blooded murders of the father and mother come next. After Chavez joined the cast of General Hospital, his career really took off. Chavez was nominated once more in 2023 after taking up a daytime Emmy in 2022. In May 2024, Chavez formally announced his departure from GA for the foreseeable future. When Spencer went off a boat in January, Chavez was the last person to appear on our screens on General Hospital. Fans will recall that Esmond Prince met Spencer and Trina Robinson in France at this time. After giving Spencer a narcotic, the two of them tumbled off the boat and into the sign. When the search produced no results, Esmond and Spencer were both assumed dead because neither of their bodies was ever discovered. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.